Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy, um, Jojo Inglis, House of Joseph Co. And uh, come back with another video because I wanted to talk a little bit about the importance of your business. Now, I got a couple of good questions from some people on Instagram that hit me up and they kind of wanted to know how to get started in, in, in a way. So let me see if I can find that real quick. Oh yeah, so this person actually said, they asked me, how do I get started when all I have is a design on ink and paper? You know, and uh, I said the same thing. I said, I started with a design in one shirt and got it done like that. So let me see what I said. So he said he had quite a few, um, quite a few designs. Now this guy, his name is, uh, my brother's name is Tariq. And um, basically what I told him was narrow your choices down. If you have a bunch of designs, start with maybe pick one to three and then really decide which one design that is that's gonna do it for you like which one design are you gonna roll with which one do you think is gonna sell pick that one start on that one next thing you need to do if you're doing shirts get at least one or two shirts uh, and decide whether or not your design is gonna be a full color or if it can be a solid color like a black white a navy blue or whatever color you want you have to decide is it going to be a full color design or is it going to be a single to color design if it can be both start off with a single color design and from there you really 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 need to find a budget heat press to do this job now i found a budget heat press which is the tussie um, off amazon the amazon tussie and i'm still rolling with it now it's giving me a few little problems now after a year but it works really really well Get yourself a heat press. I think it was like more on $135. It's a great investment. The next thing you need to get is a vinyl cutter. Um, now you can go with an older Cricut 2 uh, Air Explorer, um, or you can go with a Silhouette Cameo 4, even a 3 if you can find one. They're not that expensive. Now you may look at it and say, okay, these are expensive, but it's a great investment. And when you start to sell, you'll quickly quickly recoup that money uh, and, and it'll be paid for also there are groups or places like a firm um, there's another one like credit key that will let you do this stuff on credit so you would only have to pay about 38 bucks a month if you just bought the cameo but you can go to heat press nation or anything like that and try to get those things lumped in and buy them it's a great investment and honestly it's going to cost you the least amount of money because if you have people like me that are already set up and we have to do this work for you and basically drop ship for you you're not really making any money because you're spending a lot of money on your overhead cost the cost to make the cost to uh, ship so you're not going to really make any money and that's why i always suggest get this stuff yourself and start learning how to press. So once you get your design, once you get your vinyl cutter, once you get your heat press, you're good to go. All you need to do now is set up your shop, uh, whether it's gonna be online, whether it's gonna be storefront, and start to market. Once you do that, you're good to go. This is what's gonna bring you into that first phase of selling. You know, once you get your first sale, it may take a month, it may take two, it may take less, it may take a couple of days. It all depends on how you're going to get your product out there. Uh, you need to market, you need to uh, get on social media, and honestly, you don't. You need to not sell to your family right away because they'll support you. More than likely, they'll support you anyway, and it's not really going to help you. Uh, it's going to inflate your ego a little bit thinking that you're selling but if you can't get a shirt to somebody that you don't know then your chances of being successful are very unlikely so spend some time um, advertising you might have to spend a little money but do the free stuff first like social media and whatnot to this day um, I think I've paid a dollar a month to market uh, to market my store and it's turned out pretty good um, was it necessary? I don't know. 
but I tried it anyway and it seems to be working so I still do the same thing a dollar a day it is thirty dollars a month um, sometimes 31 sometimes less um, but it's a great great thing to do if um, if you're trying to get your product out there once you do these things man you will be set and it'll take a while for you to get to the milestones uh, start building milestones start building milestones for yourself and always try don't flood your store with a bunch of products that you can't really uh, fulfill um, and kind of determine what you want to do as far as um, the type of style of selling because some people get all this stuff and then they decide you know what I just want to be a I just want to be a drop seller uh, a drop shipper I just want to you know open up a Shopify put some cool designs on there and just have them ship out the shirts or whoever orders there's nothing wrong with that it just depends on what you're doing for me I put embellishments on my clothing like I've told you before and so I need those shirts in my hands so I can do that work 90% of the time uh, the the other 10% is me literally just uh, pressing the shirt with my design and sending it out because some other people want to do their own uh, embellishments and that's fine too you have to be in a space where you can offer options now you don't want to op offer too many options but just enough where it's not going to overwhelm you anyways guys hopefully this is going to be a good uh, video for you to learn um, how to set up your business how to set up steps to be successful um, if you like the video make sure you leave a thumbs up make sure you leave a like or dislike it doesn't matter uh, support the channel and I will catch you guys in the next one peace